What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dave, and uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the Giant Scale P51. I know it's been a while since you guys have seen it. So here's the deal guys. Um, I went outside for over three hours and tried to start this thing. I did everything that I possibly could do to get it started. Um, I think that I have uh, a bad carburetor. So I have to order a new carburetor and then I'm hoping once we ch change out that carburetor, she'll be started and we can possibly get her out for some trial runs. Uh, and I don't mean trial runs as far as um, flying her. I mean taxiing her around. I mean, probably not. I mean, I don't know. If I feel gung-ho and I fucking decide to go, then I'm going to go. But um, I'm not making any promises right now. This is a very, very expensive piece of material we have in front of us right here this was not cheap i have a lot of hours into this thing a lot of hours into this thing um all winter long i worked on that thing last winter so my question is what is dave gonna do for a winter project this winter well we are going to start off this winter by getting the L39 and we're going to put a really, really sweet black and white tiger, black, white and gray tiger scream on and tiger scheme on it. So, uh, and then, uh, it's going to have the, uh, markings from the, uh, uh, Top Gun L39. So if you guys, if you guys go online and you look up the Top Gun L39, it's going to show you a really, really sweet picture of this L39 all decked out in like the uh, digital camo uh, of the Top Gun uh, uh, paint scheme. So it looks pretty cool, actually. But as you can see, she's all wrinkly again. And I figured out how to get the wrinkles out of this plane. This is exactly how you do it, guys. Put it somewhere where it's cold. It just shrinks everything right up. If you put it where it's hot, like right now, the heater's blowing on this thing right now. And it's got a shit ton of wrinkles on there. But if I took this thing and stuck it in my room for the night, the wrinkles just go, like, absolutely crazy. But, uh, just wanted to give you guys a heads up on what's going on with the P51. Scott Thompson, I, I remember you were asking something about it. Um, well, this is, this is where we're at, guys. This is where we're at with this P51 right now. Um... Trust me, I can't wait to get out and fly this son of a gun. I can't wait to get it just started. Just to get it started would be great. Would just That would just be ridiculous. Just to get it started would be uh, a, a, a treat. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, that's what's going on with the P-51. Um, so where we're going from here is out to the flying field. I went out there last night and I was like, something just didn't feel right. It was so flat calm. It was so beautiful, but just something to me didn't feel right. So instead of flying last night, I decided to go out in the woods and take a peek for my F-86 Sabre. And I could see a lot better, too. All the leaves, most of the leaves are, are gone now, and I could see a little bit better. But uh, So I'm going to attach that video to this, and uh, maybe you guys can see something in the video that I didn't. But I took you guys right to the right to the crash spot, right to the right to the uh, the known place uh, where the plane went down, and uh, I took you guys along for the uh, journey. So uh, I hope you enjoy that. Uh, just letting you know now before you get into the video, it is a good twenty minutes of me doing nothing but walking around looking for that plane. But I give you guys a view too, so in case you guys see something that I didn't see. Who knows? Stranger things have happened. I've seen, a, I've seen a video out there where somebody was looking for something out in the woods. And then in the comment section below, you're like, hey, go to this section right here. I've seen something like that. So I was hoping maybe, you know, if you guys see something, you just put the time, the time stamp down in the comments and I'll take a peek at it and see if that's, if that's what it is. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it. I'm Dave. This is Dave's RC and I'm heading out to the flying field today and I'm actually flying. Uh, so... Um, Enjoy the video. Uh, and uh, like I said, if you don't want to sit here for 20 minutes, 
going through uh, a disappointing uh, search for an F86 Sabre, then end the video now. <laughs> but if you, uh, if you want to help me out and you want to look through the video yourself, uh, go ahead and take a peek at the video. Um, by all means, have at it. Um, but that's it, guys. I'm Dave. This is Dave's RC. We'll see you guys out at the flying field. Peace. All right, guys, so I figured I'd let you guys take this journey with me. I'm going to make sure this hunter's not here today. Oh, I can get a really good look through the woods now, guys. I was going to come out and fly today, but this was my, my, my big purpose for coming out today was because I wanted to take another peek for the saber. Yeah, it's starting to get more thinned out and I can see through everything a little better now. Um, yo! I don't think anybody's, I don't think you can hunt on Sundays. I'm pretty sure you can't hunt on Sundays, but this is where I lost her, you guys. Right here. Right in here. And I got my glasses on today, which is something that I haven't done in the past. And that helps me see sharp objects. She should stand right out in those leaves now, if she's in the trees. I hear gunfire, and that's the only thing that worries me. I know there's not supposed to be any hunting on Sundays. I think it's been that way since I was a kid. No hunting on Sundays. Not on Sundays. And there is hunting tomorrow, so I wanted to come out here today so I didn't mess this guy's shit up. I don't see it yet, guys. Um, I don't know. I'll let you guys get a look. I'm going to take a little picture of each one of the treetops. I'm telling you, I don't see anything in the trees. Alright, I'm gonna look around on the ground, I guess. Because if it wasn't a tree, it's not gonna be in a damn tree now. Wow, I can see a lot better now, guys. There is, it's just so much more open see for days here now all that stuff I had to traipse through before 
It's all gone. Look at all the leaves on the ground. These are all brand new leaves. I'm gonna walk down this riverbed and go off to the left up here and see what see what I see. While also looking in the tree still. Wow. There's still a lot of leaves on these trees. Yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I can see right through everything now, guys. So it's like, it's not like before. We had a huge windstorm yesterday, man. So that's why I think if it was up in a tree, it was gonna get blown out, no doubt. Yeah, man, this is a prime hunting spot, I guess, because there's quite a few houses like huts there's a tree stand over there. So these guys are serious about their hunting. So I can see why they don't want me back here. I understand that. But I'm just so stuck on finding this bitch. See, there's still a little bit of green left. And when that disappears, it actually makes things so easy, you guys. It's easier to find your plane in the winter time here than it is in the summertime. Trust me. All right, so oh, shit. We're gonna get off, get out of this wood, and get on the path over here. And then I'm gonna walk the path. I'm looking up in the trees again. We should be able to see through the woods over here really well now too. Yeah, somebody's practice shooting, I hear them. Wow, this thing, this thing is a ghost, you guys. This plane is a ghost. I've lost planes before, man, but I've always found them. So that's why I'm, I'm taking this one a little bit tougher. Because Yeah, see, I can almost see through all of that Almost Yeah, this is crazy, you guys. I can't. I can't believe this plane is that. This is been this hard to find. I. I'm. Whoa, that's not a fucking close. Holy fuck, that sounded. That sounded really close. When you can feel the concussion in your chest when the shot's fired, yeah, that's close. 
I sound like a damn cannon though. Yeah. No wonder the MiG pilots had such a hard time fucking shooting these things down, man. They blend in like really good. I bet you I've had my eyes on it once or twice and didn't think anything of it because it looked just like leaves to me. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so, yeah, I'm gonna walk up the pipe here. Oh, that would be great if you guys if we if we found this together right now. That would be that would be that would be awesome. If we just saw the thing together. I kept telling Hannah, I think it's up here. This is where I was targeting mostly. Because the guy said the plane it sounded like it was off to his right. And if it was off to his right, then that would put it over here. Like right here. And this is coming to you guys in 4K too. So hopefully if you guys see something in the trees that I don't see. Crazier things have happened. People have found stuff in videos you wouldn't even believe, man. You guys watch this video and play it back. And if you think you see something during any of this footage. Yo, Dave. Check yourself, bro. I think I saw something in the video this time at this this point in time. All right, so let's walk up over here. I keep seeing pieces of like birch, and it looks like a canopy, like right there. It drives me nuts. I'm like, oh, what's that? Oh, it's birch. It's birch. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, man? What are we gonna do? I I don't know I don't know what I gotta do to find this saber. I bet you it's gonna have to be like straight up winter. And then I'll see it. See this is where I thought it would be. See, and he thought he thought it sounded like it came down in the field. And the field is right through there. That's where the field is. And he said it sounded like it landed over there. So we're like right in the area right now where he said he heard it go down. But on the very far front edge. This is the front lip of it. Yeah, see when this stuff clears up, man, and I can see through it. This, look, this looks so promising. This looks just like what a plane would crash into. Just no BS. Like right here, this is what it would look like. If I was a plane and I crashed, this is where I would want to crash at.
I'm surprised after all that wind. If it was in the tree, I think it would be knocked out. Yeah. This is where he th he saw he said this is where I heard it go down. Like right in this area. Maybe down to the left a little bit here down there. If you go around the other side, it's just a big cat and nail nine tails pond. This is one of the craziest things ever, guys. Like, I've lost planes before, but I've always found them. That, that's why this one's... That's why this one's kind of weirding me out a little bit. It's like... I would have found a trace of it somewhere, something. Yeah. Well, I'm giving myself a chance to find it every time. Anytime I get a chance, I'm going to come out here and give it a shot and just look around. Pretty soon, we're going to be able to see through everything, and if it's not there, it's, it's, it's not there. So, yeah. I think somebody's getting ready to approach me for being on the private property, you guys. How's it going? How's it going? No, God, no. No, I, I lost the plane out here. Oh, you did? Yeah. Did you, the one that went to fly? Yeah, yeah, I, I lost a jet over here and I can't what find it, man. It? Yeah, if you stumble That's across it. <laughs> no, and it's. A plane's it's, one thing, a jet's another one. This thing, is, it's crazy, man, because. It's like, I mean, I, I saw right where it went down in the video and all of a sudden it's not there. 
just doesn't make any sense. I can't, I can't, I can't put it all together. I've searched the whole square mile back there. Just, I've, I've already gone through the whole, the whole thing. I've been through the tops of the trees looking. That's weird. Yep. Yeah, it is. It's really weird. Usually, I've, I've lost a lot of planes, but I've always found them. You know what I mean? I've always found, I've, I've never lost one permanently. I've always figured out where it was. Yeah, and they have a, you know, have it on camera and not even, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right down over those trees over there. Those two in the middle. You got those two big oaks right there? And the two smaller ones in the middle there? Look where it went down. I'm wondering, like another week. You'd be able, uh, yeah. The leaves might be oak, but it might cover it up too. Yeah, it could cover it up too. Well, this is a big plane. It's not a small plane. It's pretty, it's pretty big. That's why, I, that's why I'm having a hard time believing. I can't. I, I haven't even gotten a, like a debris trail or nothing. You know, where like usually you'll find some debris, like a piece of your, your foam or. Well, you went right away and to try to find it, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, they got people that hunt over there. Someone might have picked it up, but if you did it right away. Yeah. Oh, uh, hopefully it get, if, if someone did pick it up, I hope it gets returned. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks, man. Shit, guys, I forgot we were still recording there. Holy cow, 21 minutes. I don't know guys. I'm gonna stop the video there I guess. <laughs>